All right, everyone. So here we've got Scott and his BG van. He's going to give us a little tour of uh, what he's got inside. So. Sorry, I'm so messy. It's been very rainy out here in California, so uh, you can't clean it too early because it's just going to get dirty again. So why uh, clean it? So right here, man, the 2016 Ford Transit 250, uh, 3.2 liter, five cylinder diesel. So this thing's a workhorse. It's got tons of power, tons of torque, plenty of room. Works great for what I do. Awesome. I guess we'll just start in the front. Printer, cables to charge your, your iPad. Uh, oh, you can't miss these. Got out the got out the Pablo Garage sticker. <laughs> uh, intake valves to show people GDI intake valves. This is the build up you get on your intake valves um, on direct injection vehicles and for injection vehicles. But uh, we have cleaner that can clean this stuff off, so it's good to show people what it looks like and what kind of build up you get. Um, you know, got just a box of stapler and uh, tape, story cards to hand out to customers about product info, the infamous stickers. Oh, yes. Okay. Now back here, we have all a lot of our products. What this is, is I work with independent shops and dealerships. So I do a lot of pulling, like a shop only wants a few cans. You know, I just, this is all set up so I can just grab onesies, twosies of individual things that we sell a lot of. You know, we have like our oil cleaners. You know, this stuff's great. Put in the old oil, run it 15, 20 minutes, clean out all the carbon around the uh, piston rings, uh, VVT cylinders. And then after that, you're gonna add in the oil additive. Basically a big vitamin pack for the oil. Um, calcium, phosphorus, zinc, uh, some of the main ingredients in there. Helpful, by the way, break it down. God, it's windy today. It is windy. Yeah, super windy. <laughs> a few additives. This is your everyday uh, kind of fuel additive, fuel stabilizer, helps uh, fight against ethanol. And then you have the big bad boy, the 44. Let me give one of that sticker on the front. Oh yeah, there we yeah. go. <laughs> we have the 44K uh, fuel cleaner. Uh, this is a highly concentrated fuel cleaner. Kind of like a complete fuel system cleaner from front to back. Uh, intake ports, injectors, uh, valves, combustion chamber, O2 sensors, pads. This stuff's highly concentrated. One can in a 20, in a 20 gallon tank. Uh, we also have the diesel version of that, which is here. This is our diesel version of the 44K, another great fuel additive for your, for your diesel guys. Awesome. Uh, you can also run the oil cleaner and the diesels, which is super helpful. Uh, transmission additive, coolant kits uh, for your cooling systems. Then you got the cleaner and the additive. Cleaner is going to clean out any scale in your cooling system uh, in the help with the water pump, keep everything working good. Put the coolant additive and afterwards keep the pH levels balanced in your in your coolant, keep it lasting longer. Awesome. Coolant sealer we saw a little bit of. It's a it's a, a fibrous material based product, so it's not like a, a lock sealer. So it's basically designed to fill in like pinholes and radiators and and just small small leaks like that. It's not gonna seal your blown head gasket. Right. <laughs> Up top you just have some more backup cases of other things, a couple of diesel additives. Um, down below just more stock. Uh, this is more of this product, the oil additive, just extra of it. Uh, oh, this stuff's pretty cool here. So, for those of you who don't know, um, AC Delco partners with BG. I saw that sticker uh, there. Yeah, a couple months ago. See the AC Delco part number? Oh, wow. So this is yeah. new. Well, this is... So this is BG stuff partnered with AC Delco. So now we have uh, BG product labeled for AC Delco in GM stores. Wow, that's so this awesome. this is a, now a GM recommended service. This is our diesel product. Uh, we also have it in the uh, the 44K. We showed you the fuel additive. Right. And then also in the uh, induction kit, which is this one here. This is your three-part fuel induction kit to help clean those valves I showed you earlier with all the buildup on it. This is the kit you're going to use to clean it. So we have this in AC Delco also. Awesome. So factory recommended service. And the reason we know is because on the back, under the sticker, we got the BG logo. So, big, big thing. That was, that was really huge with, for it to actually partner with a, a manufacturer like that. Yeah. Too much, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, transmission kits, <laughs> transmission cleaner, cleaner additive, uh, cleans all the garbage out of the transmission. Additive goes in again, another vitamin pack. Awesome. Transmission. Uh, the stuff you guys have used here before, the stop strips, uh, brake pads. Yep, we've uh, yeah. definitely used those before. Brake test strips. Yes. 
Very important. Very important to use those. Funnels. We use those all the time. Yeah. Those are the only funnels we have here in the shop. And you might ask, <laughs> like, why is this box jammed between the rack and the bulkhead? She's old. It's 2016. I got 180,000 miles on this thing. She gets squeaky. So what are we going to do? Besides driving down the road and jamming my hand behind the seat to keep the rack from squeaking, I just jam this box in there. Doesn't squeak anymore. Nice and them, quiet. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. It gets the job done. And, and you have those long runs from shop to shop. You don't want to hear squeaking all Yeah, time. no, definitely will drive you insane yeah. hearing that. <laughs> down at the back. So I also, like I said, we work on car, de car dealerships. So we have to stock a lot of stuff for them. So this, I empty and load this all the time. Wow. This is just more back stock of all the stuff uh, I have basically up front. Um, we got a couple machines here. So we have our brake machine. This thing's great. You can exchange the brake fluid in a car by yourself at 15, 20 minutes. No air in the system. It's one of the best machines, or I want to say the best machine, but it's my favorite machine of everything we carry. Uh, we also have uh, one of our transmission machines in the back. That's another great machine. You get a lot of good uh, services out of that. Super easy to use. Uh, we have this crane. I use this to lift up some of the bigger machines that are pretty heavy. I mean, we can pick them up, but they're heavy, so might as well use this if you have it. Also, we sell our ATF and our gear on bigger drums, so a 53-gallon drum. We have a hook or a hoop at the, at the shed. Hook up to them, just pick them up, and just set them in here. So this is nice to have. That is very nice to have. Yeah. I did not know there was a crane back here. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Leave it unplugged. Got the controller. Oh, wow. Then you just plug it in the bottom, hook the power back up. We just don't leave it hooked up in case something happens to short out, you know. Yeah, I don't want it back here moving. <laughs> yeah, it's, got, it's locked in here. Oh, this wow. This thing basically just swings around like so. Wow. Let's pick them up and put them in. Awesome. Yeah. It just clips in like yep, that. Tighten it up. Got some straps to hold machines or barrels down. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's move on to the other side. A lot of headroom in there for sure, too, being yeah. such a tall van. Yes, but I'm vertically challenged, so I can stand up in the back there. So trust me, when it's raining and you're standing next to the van trying to do an invoice, yep. it's nice to climb into the back sometimes and get some shelter. Oh, yes. So this is the passenger side of the van, sorry, the driver's side of the van. This is a lot of stuff that we still sell, but we don't move it as frequently as the stuff on the other side. So this stuff, you know, onesie, twosies, also uh, battery, battery terminal kits, the infamous Fridgy Fresh. Oh, yes. Clean out your AC systems. Um, Automatic cleaner, NASA flow sensor cleaner. Uh, we got the other funnels for the cans. Oh, Goes yes. on top, you know, for the for the fuel additives. Right. Um, my iPad. Oh, Gotta I have that it. iPad. <laughs> um. Oh, these guys. If you have, if you work with BG, and your rep hasn't shown you one of these, ask him about the Revit tool. This thing is amazing. You guys do a lot of induction services where you're cleaning those valves with, with these style tools. What this thing does is this clips to your gas pedal, right? This clips to your steering wheel. You plug it in with the OBD2, and then you hook air up to it. And what this thing will do is it will rev the car for you while you're doing the service every 45 seconds. So it's gonna do it three times every 45 seconds. So you don't have to sit in the car and with a stopwatch and, and do the revving. You can actually hook this thing up, get it all set up, start the service, walk away to your car next to you and do something else and monitor the vehicle. Don't leave it left alone. But this thing is a huge time saver. You can do other stuff. You can do stuff on the car, rotate the tires, just do your inspections, whatever you want to do. If your VG rep has not shown you one of these, hit them up, ask them about it. Yeah, that's a very nice yeah, tool. Thing, uh, this is like the other fuel tool for doing those induction services. This comes with a kit. These are all the adapters that go with that uh, fuel service. Nice. You can scan this QR code and it'll take you to a website showing you which uh, which adapter you use on which car, step-by-step -step process. They make, they make it really easy. Uh, those are some shoes I'm returning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know there we you, are. You never know what you're going to find in the, in the BG guide. Why is this thing? There it goes. Right, there we go. All right. We have our, our demo kit for any for doing any demos, fluid demos, chemical demos, um, whatnot. We have that in there. A uh, little binder with you know, laminating sheets. If your BG guy doesn't have a laminator and make laminated 
uh, sheets for you, which I don't have any back here. Uh, your LPP forms, your uh, product knowledge forms, oil change mats. Make sure you've got a laminator. Just some other random stuff that we use. Uh, this here, uh, ooh, a little heavy. <laughs> this is a little acrylic display for those um, story cards I was talking about for the, for the front counter. Oh, nice. There's a lot Good of product, product giveaway product that we have, loose stuff, AC uh, fittings. Replacement wheels for machines. You always got to have these because these things break rolling around the shop all the time. Fender covers. Wow. Yeah. Fittings. These are all brake adapters. Guys call, one's leaking, they need to buy a new one. Their Toyota one's not working. We got more of those. Got to always stock that with you. Wow. Look in the back, we got a bunch of transmission fittings, extras. You guys lose them, or you go to run to the machine and you blow it into the tank. Now we got to get a new one. Yeah. <laughs> you guys never do that, though. Uh, extra hoses, gear oil stuff, um, power steering hoses. We got brake machine hoses back here, all replacement stuff, because you never know what's going to leak. Or I get a phone call that says my brake fluid hose is leaking. I got to drop what I'm doing to go fix it because if the machine's not working, you can't do your job, you can't make money, and you can't sell products. So make sure you get you back on the road. Here's another... There is. <laughs> this is an important guy to have. Oh, there has one of these. More fittings. You never know what you're going to need. You're going to need a hose clamp or another valve with disconnects. Um, other air fittings. Underneath you got more fittings. Regulators, O-rings, broken, uh, these are for the brake machine. Sometimes they start, part of it will start leaking, but I'll keep the rest of it because I can still use parts on that, which they just wear out in the old time. New brake caps for the brake machine. Oh, yeah. Gotta have all that stuff in there. Awesome. You always want to be prepared. Like the Boy Scouts say, always be prepared. Hey, hey. You know what you're going to run into. Yes, sir. I agree. You would be, be shocked at the calls I get on stuff that breaks or the machines don't break. They're very bulletproof. Fittings, hoses, wear out items, wheels, that kind of stuff. Pretty much you have that. Just all the consumables, yeah. Yeah. Um, displays, hybrid, hybrid uh, chemical displays. Oh wow. Sprays and AC oils. Yeah, just all the other stuff. We have more of that cardboard to keep the squeaking down. This yeah. one was a oh man, this thing would get so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it would squeak a lot. See, so um, you got some up there too. Yeah, <laughs> I tried. Took these off, put them in there. Chasing squeaks when you're driving. I'm like, you can't. I need somebody to ride back here while I drive, but you can't do that because that's not safe. So right. I decided to do this one day and it worked. And it was like those four hour drives to Eureka. It'd be squeak, squeak. I'm just jamming my hand, hitting the thing. And it, was, it was a pain. I could imagine that's yeah. so annoying. <laughs> and it's just the driver's side. Normal stuff, wallet, water. Awesome. Yeah. Gas door. You know, diesel. diesel. Yeah, I didn't know this thing was a diesel, to be you honest with you. Below it. <laughs> so you can't put your diesel in your DEF or your DEF in your diesel. I've had this thing since 2016, it's 24, so that's what, eight years? Seven years, eight years? Yeah. Every time I put DEF fluid in here, I'm like, okay, it's blue, blue hole. It's blue, <laughs> not the green one. I'm so terrified because you see it, it's so expensive if you have to replace all that stuff. Yeah. So always make sure you put your diesel in your diesel and your deaf in your deaf. Correct. There you go. <laughs> That's really it. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. Was... This is great. Thank you uh, for showing us. Absolutely. I mean, this, I didn't know it was this in depth. I mean, there's a crane back there to pick stuff up. Yeah, crane. yeah there's a crane back there to pick stuff up. Yeah. Man, this is my office every day. This is where I, this is where I live. I drive about 25 to 30,000 miles a year. Wow. So I'm on the road a lot. A lot of windshield time. And Got to make sure you have everything you need. So oh yeah, do the best you can. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, sir. Yep. You Enjoy. Drive. Yes, sir. Hey, if you don't have BG and you want to get BG, contact your local distributor, or you can go to bgfindashop.com. And they'll have the reps number. Give them a call and get set up. And yeah. See awesome. You next time.